papers are here. <laughs> Marty and I were laughing about reading off each other's scripts. <laughs> Let me begin by reading the names of the most recent past five assistant ministers at St. Mark's. Barry Beisner, David Parker, Terry Meadows, Melody Williams, Bruce Smith. Some of those go back 35 years. And the next assistant minister is, we don't know yet. During our stewardship season, it is worth remembering that many of the previous assistant ministers at St. Mark's were here for only a year or two because of the lack of adequate funding to support two full-time ministers on an ongoing basis. Bruce Smith was the exception. Bruce was here for 10 years before we he went part-time and then he retired in January of this year. I've been asked to talk to you about where the discernment committee is in their work. In the summer of 2012, the stewardship committee conducted a parish survey focusing on the future of St. Mark's. Last year, as a result of the success of the stewardship campaign and feedback from the parish surveys, a committee was formed to give recommendations to Paul St. Germain on what type of additional staff was needed here at St. Mark's. In the search for a new rector, the vestry, it's the vestry that calls the person. In the search for additional clergy, Paul could, if he wanted, hire additional staff on his own. He chose to get recommendations from the congregation through the discernment committee process. The discernment committee is chaired or co-chaired by Barb Keys and I. The other committee members include Liz Schreiner, Scott Milburn, Kelly Olmstead, Dale Hartney, Ann Davidson, and Anna Ellis. The discernment committee began their work around the middle of March of this year. The first step. If St. Mark's was going to hire additional staff, what type of additional staff was needed? What would we recommend to Paul? We set up two processes to help us discern what we would be recommending. The first process was a series of focus groups many of you participated in. These were held to look at things like, what are our strengths? What are our opportunities for improvement? What needs are not being met? How do we best serve the young people and families that are coming to St. Mark's? What kind of additional staff do we need and what kind of special traits, experiences, and skills should we be looking for? The second process was to take all this information collected from the focus groups, study it, digest it, and make recommendations to Paul regarding what kind of additional staff was being recommended. Our options were part-time clergy, full-time clergy, full-time lay staff, part-time lay staff, and a combination of part-time lay staff and part-time clergy. The results of the focus groups and the committee work was a recommendation for a full-time clergy person. Paul wholeheartedly recommended, agreed with this recommendation. Once we reached this conclusion, the next step was to send to the diocesan office a document called the Congregational Intake Portfolio. Sounds impressive. The committee requested and received a lot of assistance with the preparation of this document. It included demographic information about the congregation, financial status, and commitments. The diocesan office insists, requires, a minimum of a two to three year solid financial support for any additional clergy staff hire. We also had to answer a series of 12 questions describing our life here at St. Mark's. Thankfully, the discernment committee received a lot of additional assistance from Doug Yeager, Pat Hines, Matt Bester, Pat Barton, Kelly Kelleher, Joan Maynard, Jim Acton, John Gettler, Cecilia Alexander, and Phil Glandon. 
After compiling and editing our responses, Bart Key sent our congregational intake portfolio off to the diocesan offices near the end of June. The diocesan offices began to work their magic or do whatever they do to prepare our portfolio to be posted with the national church. At some level, this is a glorified matchmaking services on the internet. Pairing up our portfolio profile with those of persons who are searching for new opportunities or callings. At the same time, informal networking inquiries also went out through the di diocese. Some of us had very high expectations that we would be overwhelmed with responses and that the sermon committee would have a terrible time waiting through hundreds of replies to our portfolio. Reality set in and not much happened for a period of time. The discernment committee did receive very, four very sincere responses to our search. The one person who made it to the top of several of the committee members' first pick list graciously declined a phone interview. Phone interviews were scheduled and completed with three other candidates. The results of those phone interviews concluded in one person being invited to Columbus to meet Paul, the discernment committee, in the vestry. This occurred on October 7th, 8th, and 9th. Last week, the discernment committee completed interviews with the candidates' references. Following the completion of the reference checks and Paul's conversation with the bishop, who is also a reference for this candidate, we are excited about the possibility that our committee work may be concluding. We are meeting immediately after the 10 o'clock service today to hopefully make our final recommendations to Paul, a thumbs up or a thumbs down on this candidate. We are also well aware and prepared if for whatever reason things may not work out. The discernment committee doesn't reach a consensus or the applicant could turn us down. If any of these things happen, the discernment committee will restart their search in January 2014. The discernment committee work has been very exciting and challenging. We hope to come to some conclusion today, but it is extremely important during the stewardship season to keep in mind that our pledging and financial commitment to St. Mark's is what funds our staff and makes it possible for St. Mark's to be in a position of looking for an assistant clergy. I would like to conclude with the prayer that the discernment committee has been praying at their meetings. <clears throat> Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Help us not to hide ourselves. Open our hearts to your will for us and for our congregation. Enable us to see where our own desires, needs, and motivations may be getting in the way. Help us to listen with open ears and hearts as we try and discern your will for St. Mark's. May the Holy Spirit be with us as we hear anew the familiar words, Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen.